Next up, we have a very important financial indicator and that is exponential moving average. Okay, so now exponential moving average is again a type of moving average and moving averages are financial indicators which are used to analyze the value of stock over a long period of time. So the average of that long period is calculated. Okay, so now in the case of exponential moving average, the average is not calculated simply over a particular uh, time interval uh, on the input data set. But instead, as compared to simple moving average, every term which is added on the exponential moving average has an increased effect on the mean. Okay, so to in order to better illustrate what I am saying, let's look at an example. Okay, so over here the formula for exponential moving average for today actually depends on the value of exponential moving average yesterday. Okay, so this means that whenever we add any new day in the calculation or any new day inside the input data set of the exponential moving average, then whichever days are already present, they tend to matter less. So the older the price value is, the less it matters and the newer the price value is, the more it matters. Okay, and this particular decrease in the importance given to each and every number is actually calculated by give, specifying a constant called as decay. Okay, over here it is called smoothening and as the number of days increase, the price becomes less and less significant. So now this is particularly important because this gives you a long term picture of the price of that particular stock or commodity or cryptocurrency but it also preserves the current fluctuation of the market. So simple moving average was just a rolling mean or an average calculated at a particular interval but that interval keeps on changing. But unlike that exponential moving average actually calculates the mean at a particular interval but gives different weightage to different values. So the latest value has the most weightage and similarly with this we can look at long term uh, predictions and also short term fluctuations. So this is something which has been added from on top of a simple moving average and then exponential moving average was created. Okay, so now let's look at the Python implementation of this particular moving average. So now this is a collab notebook. I'll have it linked in the resources. So if you want to go tweak with this notebook or do some changes, change the values, look at a different indicator, then you should very well do that. So first of all, we are importing pandas and that will be the uh, tool which will be using to analyzing the training data set. So first of all, you have to connect to a cloud instance. And once you have done that, we have now imported pandas. And now we are creating an array called as data. And then we are passing in that array to pandas to create a data frame object. Okay, so it is perfectly fine if you are not understanding what is actually going on over here. But the main thing which you should look at is this is a particular price data set and then in this particular step we'll be plotting that particular data set okay so this is the price of a cryptocurrency fluctuating in a given amount of time so let's assume that this is the price of a cryptocurrency called as x so now we want to calculate the exponential moving average for that particular cryptocurrency x so now pandas has a direct API call called as EWM or exponential weighted mean. Okay, and then we specify a decay over here and then we calculate the average of it. So now with this we have calculated the exponential mean and then it has been plotted on the graph. So now as you can see over here the very first significant change which is present on these particular graphs is first of all that the value of the initial input data set and the output data set show a lot of smoothening. So over here instead of the sharp peak we can see a lot of smoothening over here. 
and this is the true nature of moving averages. So with this you can get the analysis of the market trend over a comparatively longer period. But still over here the short term fluctuations like this dip over here are still preserved. Okay, so this is some basics about exponential moving averages. I hope you found these glimpses from my online course interesting. For more in-depth explanation, hands-on experience and making real-life applications on this topic, refer to the course link given in the description section below.